right friends once again welcome back to learning space we are going to deliberate one important topic that is a nutrition security people loosely talk about india achieved the goal of food security but the important component of food security that is the nutrition security is yet to be achieved and this is clearly evident if you watch this video and i presented all the facts and look at the following facts first before going ahead 190 million people go hungry daily in our country and some of them with the hidden hunger what is the meaning of hidden hunger we are going to deliberate and 3000 children die daily due to poor diet related illnesses then a third of the children below the age of 5 are underweight we are going to deliberate what is meant by underweight wasted stunted all these things whatever is related to the child health entire terminology you will learn today then a quarter of global deaths of kids below 5 happen in our country then a third of global neonatal deaths occur in our country neonatal death what is the meaning you will come to know a short while from now there is a pervasive undernutrition especially in rural areas with the protein and energy malnutrition then government policy supports a subsidized delivery of cereals like rice and wheat but not proteins that means dal moong dal tur dal these are all required basically as predominant diet for proteins when you look at the vegetarian population then majority of the population are ignorant about vitamins and minerals and now let us look at national family health survey for as per national family health survey children under 5 years stunted you see within 10 years within 10 years it reduced from 48 to 38 and it could have reached to the figure of at least 20 or 25 within 10 years because during the past 10 years india has grown by around 7% 8% and sometimes touched 9% also then wasted you see in fact marginal increase in the population of wasted children then if you look at underweight children there is not much improvement and there is not much improvement in the children suffering from anemia or the deficiency of iron right so you can say not much improvement if you look at various aspects like stunting wasting then underweight and anemia and this is pictorial representation of stunted wasted severely wasted underweight and anemic if you look at 2005 6 and 2015 16 there is not much improvement which is clearly visible from this representation then wasted wasted means children with the low weight related to their height children with the low weight related to their height and stunted stunted children or basically the children with the low height relative to their age sufficient nutrition is not available that's why they are not able to grow that is a stunted children if you look at underweight they are the children with low weight related to age then anemia this anemic children we have seen just now 58% of the children are suffering from anemia so here anemic means not enough red blood cells due to lack of sufficient iron so wasted stunted underweight anemic so this is still bothering our country after 70 years of independence and imr if you look at infant mortality rate it is at present 41 and kerala's figure is 6 and if entire country's figure can be brought down to 6 about 7 lakh children would be saved every year right 
and over 60% of infant mortality deaths are neonatal deaths. And if you look at the best Indian states, Kerala is at 6 and advanced countries have the figures of 6, 4, something like that. So, Kerala has reached the figure of developed countries, but some states are still lagging behind. If you look at these states, somewhere around 40 to 50 and some of the states like Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Karnataka, they raised much above than the national average and here three important rates, please don't forget, neonatal mortality rate when the child after birth he is not able to see 28th day of his life. That is a neonatal mortality. That means the death of a child during the first 28 days of life per 1000 live births is a neonatal mortality. And similar figure up to 1 year is infant mortality. And a similar figure up to 5 years is under 5 mortality or child mortality. And maternal mortality ratio is the death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy per 1 lakh live births is a maternal mortality ratio. The previous three rates are per 1000 live births, but maternal mortality ratio is per 1 lakh live births. Then stillbirth, what is the meaning of stillbirth? Stillbirth is a baby who is born without any signs of life at or after 28 weeks of gestation. So, after 28 weeks of gestation, if a baby is born without signs of life, that is known as a stillbirth. And what do we need for healthy living? The question comes, even after 70 years of independence, we are still struggling badly with wasted children, stunted children, underweight children, then anemic children. So, what went wrong? Exactly what do we need for healthy living? Cereals, either wheat or rice, which is a staple food all of you are familiar with. Here proteins for the vegetarian diet, most of the proteins we get from dals or pulses and vitamins. Vitamins we are getting from different types of uh, components like vegetables, fruits, green leafy vegetables like that. Then minerals starting from milk and green leafy vegetables at the same time eggs. Then meat products. So, these all constitute various components of uh, minerals in our diet. So, for a healthy living, cereals are required. Proteins are required. So, here cereals give carbohydrates predominantly. Then pulses give proteins. So, pulses give proteins and then vitamins, then minerals. So, these are basically required for healthy living of the human being. And before going ahead, what is meant by malnutrition and hidden hunger? Malnutrition. Malnutrition is improper nutrition or bad nutrition. So, if all these are available in sufficient quantities for the healthy life of the human being, cereals, pulses, vitamins, minerals, if everything is available for the human beings, then it is a balanced diet and malnutrition is basically bad nutrition and it comes in many forms from hunger to obesity. So, malnutrition is either eating too much food or too little food. Both are called as malnutrition. Hundreds of millions of people around the world are starving while half a billion are suffering because of obesity. So, no food or less food and more food. Both are dangerous and both are called malnutrition. So, to prevent malnutrition in children, what is to be done? Breastfeeding of the babies is most important aspect. Several women are ignorant of this and at the same time, access to a healthy diet for everyone is very much essential. Access to healthy diet is very much essential so as to prevent this aspect of malnutrition. And here, this is hidden hunger in the food. If sufficient vitamins and minerals are not there, that is categorized as 
hidden hunger you may feel that you have eaten sufficient quantity but if it is devoid of vitamins and minerals it is known as hidden hunger so it occurs when the quality of food that people eat does not meet their nutrients requirements and when the food lacks micronutrients micronutrients are basically vitamins and minerals when the food lacks micronutrients it is known as hidden hunger so here the food is deficient in micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals so they need them for their growth and development in fact micronutrients are must for children for healthy growth then women and children in families with low income often do not get proper vitamins and minerals there is a bias towards girl child at the same time there is bias towards women and these are the prominent reasons for hidden hunger especially in girl child and women so because of this lack of sufficient nutrients this limits their growth development health and working capacity so ensuring people get vitamins minerals and essential nutrients will help prevent malnutrition so we learned so many important aspects one is the small nutrition and the next one is hidden hunger and there are several schemes by the government but what went seriously wrong there are several schemes starting from mid day meal scheme i have taken three important schemes this mid day meal scheme that is basically to ensure attendance in the school at the same time eliminating the malnutrition here one meal with the specified calories for the students up to class 8 is given it is provided in government as well as government aided schools so this is one scheme mid day meal scheme and icds integrated child development services are there which were started in 1975 to take care of nutritional needs of children in the age group of 0 to 6 years and at the same time to take the nutritional needs of pregnant women and lactating mothers lactating mothers or the mother who are breastfeeding their children so it is basically supplementary nutrition so this scheme is basically supplementary nutrition and national food security act is there and it is expected to cover 50% of urban population and 75% of rural population and subsidized food grains are given here and all the states implemented it here 5 kg of food grains will be given per capita per month and it would ensure food security and enhance nutritional status and that is as per the goal of national food security act and it also gives cash for pregnant women at rupees 6000 so there are several schemes these are three important i have noted so in spite of these schemes though the national food security act is new but subsidized food grains are being given in several states for so many years and this is almost 42 year old and this mid day meal scheme was introduced long back and in spite of these measures now we are not making much headway as far as wasting malnutrition underweight all these are concerned and please look into the balanced diet balanced diet requires cereals cereals means wheat rice maize bajra jowar these are examples of cereals then pulses i gave three examples tur dal moong dal and urad dal so basically this gives carbohydrates and this gives proteins so carbohydrates are required proteins are required and vitamins they are naturally available in various products vegetables fruits they are naturally available and minerals they are also available naturally which include the milk eggs and green leafy vegetables so what is required for healthy living for healthy living it should be a balanced food containing cereals at the same time pulses at the same time vitamins at the same time minerals right so these four are essential for a healthy human being 
and if you look at the availability of cereals in fact 1970 and 2000 145 kg per capita increased to 158 kg per capita that means the availability of cereals increased and if you look at the consumption of cereals, consumption of cereals in 1994, 155 kg per capita reduced to 129 kg per capita. And in fact, this may be due to the change in dietary habits of the people. And now we are surplus in cereals. Cereals, there is no problem. We are surplus in cereals. In fact, as an average, we are selling around 9 million tons every year to other countries since 2000 so cereals absolutely no problem and for the past few years our food grain production is around 250 to 265 million tons and the basic problem is in pulses we get proteins from pulses per capita production of pulses during the 50 year period reduced in 1965, 19 kg per capita was available and now it reduced to 15 kg per capita in 2014. So, it is 15 kg per capita in 2014. So, at present, our production is just 17 million tons and this year it is expected to reach 20 to 23 million tons and our requirement is around 22 million tons. Present intake is 42 grams per capita per day. And as per the World Health Organization, at least 60 grams is required in our country. So, at present, pulses consumption is 42 grams per capita per day and it must be 60 grams per capita per day if I am not wrong. Right? So, this is with regard to pulses. So, cereals, properly available there is no problem and the national food security act takes care of cereals so carbohydrates requirements are taken care of to the maximum extent but the problem is in pulses because of lack of availability and affordability also because cost increased drastically so common man is not able to afford at the same time lack of vitamins and minerals is probably due to ignorance of the masses right so, what are the present day problems? Finally, after learning about various aspects, so what are the present day problems? Government implemented several schemes to take care of food security through cereals because of which starvation is prevented. Starvation means extreme malnutrition leads to starvation, right? So, here starvation is prevented in our country because of food security measures which concentrated basically on cereals and food grains reached even the remotest parts of the country through public distribution system and availability of cereals could be achieved around the year which we loosely call food security. But the nutrition part of food security is yet to be achieved. One important point, please do not forget. We loosely call that India achieved food security, but the nutrition part is yet to be achieved. This is precisely the reason why there are substantial percentage of malnourished, stunted, wasted, underweight children even after 70 years of independence. Then ignorance and traditional beliefs are some of the reasons for hidden hunger in our country. Please do not forget, hidden hunger means lack of vitamins and minerals. Then another important aspect is gender discrimination towards women as well as girl child are some of the reasons which resulted in hidden hunger. And finally, what is the way out? We have to find some way out. Focus not only on fine cereals, we are concentrating on only fine cereals like rice and wheat, but there are some cereals which are quite rich in minerals and vitamins. So, please concentrate on that nutri cereals or the cereals which gives nutrients. At the same time, pulses, oil seeds, milk, poultry and fish, please concentrate on these products. Then second thing is, Increase the content of protein and micronutrient content in midday meal schemes and ICDS. 
in ICDS and midday meal schemes, please increase the content of protein and micronutrients content. That means vitamins and minerals must be part of any government initiative from now onwards. Encourage food fortification. What is meant by food fortification in the food products? Increase the content of vitamins and minerals in the food products. Increasing the content of micronutrients in the food products is food fortification. But here quality and at the same time some control is to be exercised. And here the role of a food regulator FSSAI comes into picture. So FSSAI must formulate necessary policy framework for food fortification and include pulses and edible oil under the public distribution system and National Food Security Act. Under public distribution system, that means public distribution system as per National Food Security Act nowadays because National Food Security Act is being implemented across the country. So, public distribution system which is being implemented as per National Food Security Act must include pulses and edible oil, right. Look into the next one. There is a relation between agriculture and malnutrition. There is a direct relation between agriculture and malnutrition. The need of the hour is to increase agricultural productivity with the diversification and the monocropping in agriculture must be prevented. Diversification of agriculture is the need of the hour and if agriculture flourishes, then there is possibility that malnutrition will be reduced. Then give more emphasis on allied sectors of agriculture allied sectors, the animal husbandry, poultry, these are the allied sectors, then these will take care of the nutritional security of the masses in the country. So, give more emphasis on the allied sectors of agriculture, so that they will take care of nutritional deficiency. And at the same time, create massive awareness among the masses about vitamins and minerals as some of the problems pertaining to malnutrition are due to lack of awareness. Properly educate the masses. That is the need of the hour. Right, friends? So, these are the things which need to be done immediately by the government. Otherwise, this problem of malnutrition, stunting, then anemia, all these things will persist in the years to come. Right friends, this is third capsule and please do join for other discussions. Have a nice day. Thank you.